Hi, my name is uh, John Spencer and I work in the Department of Microbiology at uh, Colorado State University. I work with people down in Brazil. Brazil is one of the places in the world that still has a very high uh, rate of leprosy. I received this uh, award to work with Dr. Claudio Salgado, who is in uh, the state of Pará. Most recently in March, I spent three weeks uh, working uh, with Claudio and his group. We traveled to a small city over a thousand miles up the Amazon, a place called Orishimina, and examined 500 school children and diagnosed 25 uh, new cases. That's 5%. And that's really high. Um, in a lot of cases, this would be the first time that a kid would actually be seeing a doctor um, the whole year. And in some cases, it might be the first time in their life that they've ever seen a doctor. And they're young kids. The average age of kids that are diagnosed with leprosy in this uh, region is around 13 years old. And that generally means that there's a huge amount of leprosy out there. So we're trying to develop tests to determine biomarkers of infection and disease progression. We have uh, several protein antigens that we've been testing and trying to develop to see if we can determine an earlier indicator of disease progression. If we can detect this and get the individual treated before they actually physically uh, develop clinical signs of, of skin lesions and nerve damage, this would be really terrific to try to bring down the numbers, but we hope that eventually uh, the more um, we're able to screen these kids and get diagnoses, uh, possibly by using a simple test, uh, we can start to bring the numbers down and to help these people down in Brazil.